Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori. And I went to a new coffee store today called Community, oh, you're gonna get some bright here. Community Grounds Coffee. It's in downtown Columbus. I think I told you I'm doing the Columbus Coffee Trail. And what you do is you go to different coffee shops in Columbus that are participating. They give you a code, you punch in the code, and it marks off your passport. Um, when you go to four shops, you get a t-shirt, which I received my t-shirt, and now I'm working on my coffee cup. So I have to go to 17 in one year. So I have until January. And I think, I think this is my eighth coffee shop. I think. I don't know. Also, they had some really neat stickers, which I'm obsessed with. And uh, this one says, coffee is my love language. It's true. It is very true. Huh, so we're running errands today. I thought I would bring you along. It is Saturday. It's 1130. I just kind of relaxed this morning. I also needed to go to the cross stitch store. I am out of, I ran out of one of my colors of floss. So I brought my project with me and this is my ever tote bag carolyn of ever tote in canada makes these and it had black and white cats and so i had to buy that one um and i brought my floss so here was my fatal mistake it's not fatal but on the pattern it calls for specific colors of floss and when i started this project Back in the beginning stages of COVID, getting floss colors was not easy because there were shipment issues and getting um, the colors in from DMC even. Now these are hand dyed and so they were even more challenging. So one of the colors called for was a Gentle Arts, I think, or a diff uh, some company, some branded color in a blackboard, it's called but I couldn't get that color. So I switched it up for Weeks Dye Works in chalkboard. Not a big deal, but everybody who sells hand dyed yarn, I feel like is different yardage. So this one came with five yards. The Leo and Roxy floss I get from Caroline at Evertotes in Canada comes in eight yards. So what I found is I bought the two packs that I, that there are pattern called for two skeins but I don't have enough so I'm assuming that whatever the brand was that was called for um, had more yardage on their skeins so I need to go to the store and get more of this week's I hope they have it in blackboard if they don't it's not a big deal I can rip out part of what I did so I had enough here's the pattern um, this motif yeah, this motif right here was done all in that blackboard color and I was able to complete that. And then the outline on this like reverse pendant here, you won't be able to see it, but the outline here was also done in that same gray. And I did a little bit of it. So if I need to rip that out, if I can't get the exact color match, that's fine. I'll rip it out and start that part over. But I'm either way, I need to go to the store and get some more. And I was looking for a new pattern. I need... I say need, but I really want um, a summer stitch. And there was this one, it's like the alphabet, but there's bees and beehives and things. Right, so let's drink our coffee and go buy what we need to buy. And then I'll show you what I get when I come out the store. Mm. And tonight we're working our part-time job and it's Journey and Toto. I cannot wait, I love Journey. And I love Toto, but I've seen Journey so many times in concert. I am so excited. All right, let's get driving. Okay. I came over here to Cross My Heart Counted Cross Stitch. This is going to be my local stitchy store. It's the closest one to me. Now, next door was an American Cancer Society, like, thrift store. And I went in and everything was half price. So I picked up this. We're going to see if it works. How to Wear a Posture Corrector. A posture corrector that I can wear during the day to help me stand up better. It was regularly three dollars. I got it for a dollar fifty. We're gonna try that. And then I grabbed these puck lights. 
that have a remote. And I thought for Christmas decorating, this is gonna be amazing. I think the batteries are supposed to be included, but it looks like somebody might have taken the batteries out, which is fine. They take double A, triple A batteries, but they're on a remote. And I thought this would be fantastic for like Christmas decorating. And then I found these, a gift from First National Bank of Springfield, Ohio. Ooh, am I, okay, well, let's not go getting needles all over the place. They're, they're sewing needles, but they're like vintage sewing needles. It's a kit, some of them are missing. They're nickel plated rust proof. Ouch, I just stabbed myself, made in Japan. And you get 70, it says 70 needles, but I just thought it was fun. And for a quarter, we'll go take those home and put them with my stitchy stuff. And then we're saving the stitches. And I found this and it's just a St. Patrick's Day. I don't even know if it's new. I don't know, but it was a quarter. And somebody cross stitched that and we're going to save it. And we're going to do something with it. Maybe I'll put it on my Christmas tree. Who knows? But it was a quarter. And this was a dollar, or 50 cents. It was really a dollar, so 50 cents. Hello. And this was a dollar 50. So I think I spent like $2.69 at the thrift store. And then over here, there's Magpie Market Antique Vintage and Home Decor. Oh, I could spend all day in there, but there was a lot of people and I have a bit of a headache. So I did not spend all day, but they had the most beautiful, like, vintage -y antique stuff oh so nice but the whole reason I came I needed floss so I bought I don't even know how much I spent in there $37 Jiminy Crickets Lori like I'm rich or something but I needed oh I got some needles these are John James these are actually cross stitch needles. I wanted to try that brand. So I grabbed some John James needles. How much are they? No idea. I'd have to say, I don't really know. 3.10, yeah, $3.10. And these were 2.50 a piece. And I grabbed my blackboard that I needed. And I gra oops, grabbed three of them because it's gray. I mean, I'll use this a lot. So I grabbed three. You only get five yards on these. Oops, and this is Weeks Dye Works. And the reason I like these for this project, do you see the color variation in there? It's a lot of one color. And so this yarn or this floss that has the different colors in it gives it some depth. Now, part of this project that I'm doing is um, a big crow. And I really wanted a big crow that had more of a blue tint to it than a black. Because there's a lot of this other black. So I grabbed this to do the, just to do the crow. I don't know if you're going to see it. And this is um, Simply Shaker, the Gentle Art, which is made here in New Albany. Yep, yeah, it's made here local to me. So when I go to my cross-stitching retreat next year, I'm going to bring some of this gentle art floss to share with my table mate. So I'll get like 10 different colors and make 10 different ones to share or 12. But um, so I grabbed two of those and this will do the just the bird. And then because, you know... I've been looking at these and I wanted them. This is Be Nice chart. And it says, be nice or buzz off. And really I wanted that B too. Do some stitching with and it calls for DMC floss. But of course you can do whatever you want. And it's 80 stitch, the whole thing is 80 stitches by 80 stitches. And yeah, I thought that was adorable. And then I really was looking for this chart. And this is called, oh, this is by Primrose Cottage. I really like their designs. And this is also from Primrose Cottage. And it's designed by Lindsay Waite. And it's a B A B C. 
and it's the alphabet, but like that the B is a B, H is a hive, that type of thing. Yeah, it's a nice chart. And then again on the back, same colors. These are all complimentary, but of course you can change the colors to anything you like. I'm not gonna start this anytime soon, but I do want it for summertime. So what I'll probably do is work on my Nevermore and then I will stitch one of those. And the charts were, so the floss was $12.50 for all those colors. The needles were $3.10. The one chart was $7 and the other chart was $12.50. And then I'll stitch them up, you know, trying not to buy too much stuff. That was everything I got. I was looking for another glass compote. And I'm also on the hunt for some vintage fabric because I think that will be so fun to sew with. And I'm doing my fundraiser. You'll see all that coming up. It's about ready to get on my bike time. But what I would like to do is everybody who donates to my ride, no matter how much you donate, a, you go on the back of a t-shirt that I wear to opening ceremonies. So everybody's, just your first name. I don't do last names, privacy, but everybody's name is on the back of my shirt. I did that last year and it was fun and I will do it again this year. And then I'm going to do a giveaway. Now this giveaway, I'm going to sew a bag and I'm going to find some bicycle fabrics, something fun. And then I'm going to fill it with all kinds of Ohio themed bicycle Pelotonia stuff. Ohio State just kind of theme the bag and that will be the giveaway to whoever wins and I will do the drawing from everybody who donates to my ride so that's just a little sneak peek also I was given a sneak peek that in September my stitchy store is having a retreat in Berlin Ohio which is um Amish country and they do a Friday night Friday night Saturday night all day Sunday so I'll see I might just sign up for that we'll see how much it is and what my schedule is but let's go home the calm before the storm the doors just opened a few minutes ago we're expecting well over 14,000 people in the stadium or arena technically Toto's gonna open and then it'll be Journey. I'm super excited. Those are all the floor seats. 100, 200, and then Terrace, and I'm up above that in the press box. Sunday guys I don't even know where I started this vlog other than I took you to work with me last night to the Schottenstein Center and then I had spent the day kind of quiet I did go to Costco mostly for these chips um they're called high low life they are made with almond flour and they're keto friendly I love them they are so expensive this bag is eight dollars ouch and it's a 12 ounce bag but I'm making this week uh, taco salad my friends at the shop where I work all were talking about walking tacos and I'm like oh I want that so I grabbed that I got some light sour cream at Target I grabbed two boxes of my keto bars I like these think keto a nice treat to have around the house I've been very much into chocolate lately <laughs> so I grabbed this is Lily's chocolate there's no real sugar added well it's no sugar it's sweetened with stevia extract so I can have that just a little bit and I got some yogurt this is too good yogurt is called and it's two grams of sugar and it's Greek yogurt. And there's, um, it's sweetened with stevia as well. So I try to stay away from like aspartame. And then this is not so good for me, but I don't care. It's Ortega um, taco sauce for my taco salad. So I'll just use a little bit 
One serving is a tablespoon and that's plenty. So I grabbed a jar of that. I actually got two yogurts because they were on sale, I believe. Oh, these are all my, I take this bag to like every grocery store I go to. And I already scanned those receipts, but I'll scan this one. So the yogurt was on sale for $5.19, which is not bad for that size. The Lily's chocolates were $3.69. The Think Bars were $7.49. The sour cream was $2.59 and the taco sauce was $2.99. So not cheap, but enough. I have meat, I have lettuce, and I have taco meat that I already cooked. And I used my taco seasoning for that. So that is everything. I'm gonna sit down and film here in a second, like a floss tube with my cross stitch and what project I worked on this week. And then I'm going to bed early because I was out late last night. I didn't even get home until after midnight, but it was fantastic. I love Journey and Toto, so it was a fantastic show. All right, let me put this stuff in the fridge and then I will collect all my crafty bits. So I hope you enjoyed this little vlog. It wasn't too much, but enough for Monday, I think. You know, it's not crazy on a Monday. But the second, oh, my hair, the second of May. So yeah, tomorrow there'll be a, no, Wednesday, there'll be a Dollar Tree haul. All right, I'll talk with you. Bye.